Yo, yo, yo! Yo, yo, yo! It's T, Razzy Raz, ready for some education regarding how to import an existing app into Electron. So, I've shown you how to get from, you know, a basic Electron app into something that you can put into Electron Forge, right? So then you can make your EXEs, your installers, and all of that pizzazz. But what if you've already got something, something like Fakebook, that you want to import into Electron? All right, I will show you how to do that as well. So, first of all, just so that we're on the same page, I'm going to download uh, from my website, mrrenieri.com, mrrenieri.com. I'm going to download uh, Fakebook and I'm going to download version 9 um, because this is one that is kind of complete. You can post stuff, you can view posts. There we go. There it is. Um, I'm going to extract it in mm, the Electron Quick Start folder. Um, and also I might show how to rebrand things as well. Okay, So let's do it one step at a time. First, let's do the rebrand. So to do the rebrand, I'm in the wrong folder. Whoops. Electron Quick Start. There we go. Okay. So to do the rebrand, I want this to be called Razabook because Razabook is my name for the fake book app, a fake Facebook clone. Name Razabook. So this is in package.json describes your app. I'm going to call it Razabook. Description: uh, a Facebook clone. Um, I can look elsewhere. These are different packages that are required for it. That's fine. I don't care about that. All I care is that I've changed the name. I've changed the description. In main.js, I can have a look and check for any any branding, any names that I need to change. It doesn't look like I need to change anything. In preload, I don't need to change anything. Renderer. Uh, the readme, I don't even really need the readme, so I may as well delete that, although it's not important. Um, the index, let's have a look. Instead of Hello World, I might call it Raza Book. And then here, Raza Book. Um, package author, GitHub. Well, I guess the author is Mr. Ranieri. I should change that. I'm just checking to see anywhere that I want to change to make sure that all of my names, instead of being called Electron Quick Start, are called um, Razabook. Okay. Good. I think that's done. Now, let's get this fake book into Electron. To do that, I'm going to do my start space dot on Mac. It's open space dot. Uh, and I'm going to put my file in there, my HTML file. I'm just going to drag it in and extract that zip file on Mac. You can double click it. Okay. So I've got a HTML file, a JavaScript file, and a CSS file. Okay. I am going to just copy these and put them into this folder. So the index.html file will be replaced. One little issue is that these lines here. If I don't put them, my app will still work fine, but Electron will complain. Okay. So I'm just going to copy them and maybe make a new file. Uh, you can go File, New File, or you can just do Control M, paste them there, just so that I can keep them for later, uh, because if I don't put them, Electron will complain. My app will still work fine, but Electron will complain. So I will just keep these two security policy lines. Okay, so now I can get all of these files my fakebook JavaScript file, my index file, and paste them into my Electron folder and replace the index.html. Um, and now there's nothing in this folder anymore, so I can delete that. Good. So, let's see what happens now. If I run that exactly as it is, npm run, I think it was npm run, oh, npm run start, there we go. You can also write Electron Forge Start. There you go. Little fun fact for you. And that will start my desktop application. There we go. There it is. Good. Now I've got Facebook. Hello, everyone. Wonderful. There are some issues with this. Okay. 
Uh, if I go toggle developer tools, then those issues will become apparent. One issue, obviously, is that I just posted something. I clicked save and it didn't post it. <laughs> it's a pretty big issue, isn't it? And the issue is that it came up with an error, which meant that the program stopped. Some errors, it will keep going, but in this case, uh, the error stopped. And the error is that prompt is and will not be supported. You can Google that error and you'll find a lot of discussion saying, well, Electron may need to change it so that prompt is supported. But the end of it is that prompt, you cannot use prompt in an Electron application. I'm sorry to be the one to break this to you. You know, after 17, 18 years, I'm the one to tell you, you can't use prompt, All right? That's okay. Um, another issue, of course, is that there's no security policy. That's why I save these two lines. Yeah, I can cut these lines out. Don't need that tab anymore. And I can put them in the head of the browser. Good. Uh, notice that because I changed my branding, my name, in package.json in here, uh, I have a Razor book name at the top. There is a way to change the icon as well, but I won't worry about that for now. Whew. Okay, so next step, we need to fix this problem. Prompt is and will not be supported. There are two ways to fix this problem. Way number one is find someone else that's found a solution that's made a prompt that works and just pull it in. Boom, easy, done. Solution number two, accept in your heart, your heart of hearts, that prompt is not supported and will never be supported. And that's okay. We can live with that. We're programmers. We're versatile people. So we need to do some way of dealing, asking this question without prompt. This error happens, if I click on it, hopefully it tells me where it is. Maybe I'll click on facebook.js. There we go. Username equals prompt. I can't use prompt anymore. Electron just won't let me use prompt. It says, nah, not allowed. And that is in uh, fakebook.js. Okay. Want to check something? Yep, good. Fakebook.js, this one. And it is on line 15. I actually use prompt again later in this thing. And this is when I ask for a comment, um, to leave a comment on something. So to fix this, um, I am going to, instead of using prompt, Maybe I will go in here and I will add a text area where you can enter the comment. So instead of using prompt to pop up a window that asks the user for a comment, I will just have a HTML element, a text area. Its ID can be add comment text. And this will be where the user enters their comment. Good. And now when you click on that add comment button, Will this work? Hmm. You know what? I hope so. Uh, it will get it from that text area. So in add, oh, not that one, fakebook.js. So this is one. Instead of asking what you want to say, well, they've already entered it. Yeah, by this time, they click that button, they've already entered it in that element. So they've entered it in a thing called add comment text. To get the thing that they typed, we can do dot value. Um, and then at the end, I can make that blank. Let's see what it looks like at the moment. If I refresh, go on console, cannot load. Oh, our security policy is too strict. Look at the top. I say, our content security policy is only allow any scripts in this file. Don't allow anything else. Just allow self. Just allow itself. But here I say, oh, I get these things from Google, get Firebase, get Firestore. And that just won't do, okay? Um, for now, I'm just going to delete those. Electron will complain, but at least our app will work because it's using these script. We still have an error that prompt is and will not be supported. And this one now is on line 15. What is your name? So line 15. Looks like this. So there's another case where we're using prompt and we can't. For now, I'm just going to make it say anonymous. So I'm going to delete the prompt for is your name. And for now, everyone that goes on the site is anonymous. 
The proper way to do this is probably to have a separate page that asks for their username or asks them to log in. But for now, just so that it works, I'll change it so that every user that signs in has a name of anonymous. And now if I go to console, there are no errors and I can say, who am I? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Save, and then of course it saves it with a username of anonymous. Beautiful. So the important thing from that is just to note that if you you can just replace index.html with your app, with whatever you want, um, but the moral of the story is you can't use prompt. I'm sorry. I'm going to end on this really sad note. You're going to be okay. It's going to be fine. There is a world without prompt. It's going to be fine. Bye!